guys welcome to the channel appreciate you checking it out I apologize for all the background noise I live right next to a four-lane highway so there's not much I can do about that um, best neighbor I've ever had and some would ask well then why don't you do it somewhere else well the flag man hopefully you'll really enjoy this video I spent a lot of time filming test writing, filming, editing, adjusting, uh, using my decibel meter. So hopefully you'll really like it. If you do, consider subscribing. It'd really help me out, help out my channel. Share it if you find its uh, information's helpful. And if you guys try this exhaust modification on your bike, comment on it, man. Let me know how it went. There is just a ton as you know, of exhaust videos about gold wings. Um, always get, there's, <laughs> I think I've seen the same guy three times that always comments, a gold wing's supposed to be quiet. Well, not mine. Mine is supposed to be adjustable. The exhaust tone on my gold wing is supposed to be adjustable. If I want it noisy, I want to be able to adjust it. If I want it quiet, I want to be able to adjust it. I, and I want to do it cheap. I want to do it easy. I want to be able to do it on the road, at home, wherever I'm at, and I want to carry minimal stuff with me to do it, okay? And I think that's what I've come up with here. It involves drilling the exhaust, um, which for, for me to do that, I had to find a second pair of mufflers because I was afraid to ruin my perfectly good ones that are on my Goldwing. My Goldwing is a 2005, only got 18,000 miles on it. So after searching around, I finally find, found a pair that looked pretty decent. Price was decent, around 260 bucks shipped. I uh, ended up getting them off eBay. The thing is, the seller did not happen to say or show pictures of two of the end cap screws were broke off so obviously somebody tried to take you know each end cap has three six millimeter bolts cap screws with uh, eight millimeter heads so obviously somebody at this business tried to take them off and broke one so what did they do automatically went to the second one and broke it duh if you break one you shouldn't have done that first but then don't go right at the second one well they forgot to mention that so I had to deal with that but other than that the mufflers were in darn good shape no scratches chrome was perfect so I'm not complaining too much it's just something I had to deal with but I want to let you guys know if you try to do this modification and your bolts give you any trouble at all what I did was I used PB blaster sprayed it on the remaining four bolts and I let them soak overnight. I probably put PB Blaster on each one of those four or five times, let it soak overnight. Next morning, did them all again. About three hours later, got them all out. All four came out. And I had to work them back and forth, but I got them all out. When I got them out, I ran a tap through all the holes, put anti-seize on them, because when I'm out on the road or wherever, I want to change my exhaust tone. I want to be able to whip those puppies off in a hurry. That's what this video is all about. By the way, I almost forgot to mention that had I known this whole process would have gone as smoothly as it did and was as easy, I would not have searched out and bought a second set of used mufflers for $260. I would have just done it to my original mufflers. So just wanted to mention that to you guys. If you don't want to buy the extra set, don't buy a set. Do it to your original mufflers, and then if something happens, you can always find a used set. The whole idea here is I could have bought a set of mufflers, uh, what, Cobra mufflers or what now, 650 700 bucks. But if you get them and you don't like them or they make a drone sound and drives you crazy, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to try to sell them. What are you going to get for them? 300 bucks, Half of what you paid for them? I don't want to go through all that. First of all, I didn't want to spend a $650. Secondly, they're not adjustable. Thirdly, what if I don't like it? Then I'm stuck with them. So that wasn't an option for me. So what this involves is, is drilling holes in the muff, end of the mufflers, which 
a lot of people on the internet are showing you how to do. I think the difference is though, and what I tried to figure out is how to make those holes. If I don't like it, what do I do then? Well, I ruined a set of mufflers. So my idea was to make the tone, exhaust tone adjustable. Well, how am I gonna do that? Well, I think I finally figured out a way. I think you guys will like it. Um, there's always gonna be, there's always haters. There's gonna be people that just don't like it and they're gonna say in the comments they don't like it. Fine, whatever. I don't care about that. So anyway, I'm gonna show you that the holes that I drilled, I bought caps that just plug in. They're zinc. I got them at Menards. I'll show you all that stuff. Show you how I did it. Um, how easy it is. I did decibel readings for you guys at idle and at 3,000 RPM. I think there's four different videos. I'm using three holes with three plugs, different sizes. I show you all the decibel readings there. Then I go out on the highway, which you've already seen part of that, because my intro is going to be going through the gears. And um, I had the uh, microphone on the rear license plate frame in between both mufflers. But I also did a video with the microphone on my visor inside my helmet. So you guys could kind of get an idea what that's like uh, when I had all uh, the exhaust completely open. I show you what the inside of the exhaust looks like. To give you an idea, here's what you're going to need to take with you out on the road to change your exhaust note and you've got several different tones, different phases of being quiet and going to pretty loud. Um, this is the bag you need. And here you can see I've got a eight millimeter wrench. You can use a socket, whatever. I use a gear wrench, uh, a screwdriver. Those are for popping the uh, caps off. And here are the caps, some of the caps. Actually all of them, there's six total. I can, with this little bag, I can pretty much change the exhaust note from stock, leaving all the caps in, all the way up to a pretty loud. Yeah, let's check it out. And with all the caps out, that's pretty much straight through exhaust. Now this six cylinder is not real loud anyway, it was straight through exhaust, because it still has to go through the cat converter, right? But no check engine light. I've ridden this bike over 200 miles with by using my system uh, $11 you guys that's what I've got invested now if you don't have step bits which I didn't have one big enough I ended up spending $29 on that but still let's say I mean you're, you're probably gonna have a drill right but that's all you need a drill and step bits and that's pretty much it so let's say you don't have the step bits, 50 bucks, and you can adjust your exhaust. Uh, guys, if you like it, please subscribe. I, I like doing these videos, but my videos don't get a ton of views for some reason. My next one's going to be on windshield. I've got a windshield ordered for this Goldwing. It's been ordered for a month. It should have been here by now. It's five inches taller, three inches wider. I've already done the preliminary filming of this stock windshield, things like wind velocity on top of my head. Uh, I might do the decibel thing. I've already done the decibel. I don't know if I'll put it in the video. So when that windshield gets here, I'm going to swap them out, take it out on the road, show you guys the difference between those windshields. Hopefully that'll be another decent video. So yeah, man, subscribe and uh, let's get after it. So guys, I wanted to say a little something about these step bits. This Unibit set I bought probably 30 years ago, maybe a little more than that even. And I remember at that time they were expensive. It only goes up to three quarter though. I wanted to go bigger than that for this project. So while I was at Menards, I was looking at new step bits and Bosch had some, but they were like 60 bucks for one that went over an inch. So I bought this Performax set for $29. It goes up to one and three eighths. If this was $29, which it was, 
then this was worth about $229 because these are 10 times the bits that these are. This blew through that stainless steel like it was nothing. These, it was pretty difficult using these. So just a warning there. They'll get the job done for you, but uh, they're worth the $29. Let me say that. Okay, guys, this is what the muffler looks like with the holes drilled. Now, when you drill those holes, obviously, you're going to get some filings inside here. I started out with this on the end of my shot back. And that didn't get it all. Got a lot of it, but it didn't get it all. So then I went to this magnet. That got the bulk of it. And if you guys want to know what these look like inside, I'm going to try to show you. As you can see, around the outside area of the muffler, you can see all the way through to the inlet. So my Goldwing is a 2005. And this is what the exhaust tips look like. Pretty sure the mufflers I got came off a of 2006. As you can see, they only have the one hole. Now that fits right over that pipe. So really, if you don't remove these, how much good are you doing by drilling holes there? Really not, because this is gonna kind of plug it anyway. So to get this insert out, they were spot welded in three places here, here and then here I just simply took a chisel went in through here like this and just chiseled those at those spot welds hammered at them with the chisel do these two first then you can wiggle this insert around, wiggle it back and forth, and that side one then, will leak. if you wiggle it back and forth enough, it'll eventually break loose from this. Took me a few minutes to do each one, but no big deal. All right, guys, here's some info that's going to be fairly important. Originally, I was going to go with half, three quarters and one inch. The half and the one inch plugs that I got at Menards work great. The three quarters, both holes, here's the one on the other side. I thought the holes were too big because when I put the plugs in, they just, of course, they were loose, so they rattle in there when you're running the bike. So after doing a lot of measuring, I have decided it is not the holes. The holes are correct because I thought maybe my step drill bit was off, but it's not. The holes are correct. The three quarter inch plugs that I bought at Menards are actually a little smaller than three quarters. So if you do this, I would suggest don't buy the three quarter ones. I measured both of them and both three quarter inch plugs are smaller than three quarters so went back to Menards this morning was going to get another inch or two more inch plugs and hog this one out to one inch then I would have two and of course they didn't have any one inch plugs left they were all out of them so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to hog this one out use my step drill make it at one inch and an eighth make this one inch so now I'll have half inch, one inch, and one and one eighth inch plugs. And then when I get all this done, I'll uh, redo the sound test that I've already done, but I'll redo it with the decibel beater, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, decent results with it then. Okay, guys, here's what the mufflers look like with the holes drilled. half inch, one inch, one and one eighth inch. I'll be doing the test video 
with the decibel meter at idle then at 3000 rpm I'll put all the plugs in I'll start off with just doing a half inch take the half inch out and doing a test with that then I'll put it back in then go to the one inch and then if there's a difference between the one inch and one and an eighth I'll go to that and then I'll do a decibel reading with all three out which is probably the way I'll run it most of the time but I'll carry these plugs with me and if I want it fairly quiet I'll put them all back in or you know just maybe leave the half out we'll just see how the decibel readings do this is what my test area looks like this is my Sony camcorder this is the decibel meter of course it's four feet away from the mufflers and this is what it looks like from the back with the holes drilled in them guys you can adjust these tabs on these just bend them in and out as you need to to get them in and out of the holes these are those three quarter inch ones that I could not make fit correctly but the one and an eighth and one inch you can adjust these tabs to make them fit as tight as you want them to and to get them out it's easier to use like this pocket screwdriver you can also reach in through the end caps if you don't want to take the end caps off you can reach through with the long handled needle nose pliers to get them out but I've got everything with anti-seize on it the three bolts that hold on the end caps on the mufflers and I have anti-seize on these also these are supposed to be zinc but I don't know how much they're gonna rust of course the mufflers won't because they're those the ends of the mufflers are stainless steel so anyway yeah it worked out for me to put anti-seize on everything it's easy to get those caps off those bolts are eight millimeter heads you can carry a small ratchet with an eight millimeter socket on it to get those whip those off quick and then just use the screwdriver to change your plates around as you want that's what works for me all plugs in okay folks this will be our baseline decibel test all plugs are in idle first inch plugs out now the 3000 rpm test one inch plugs out and one eighth inch plugs out This will be the final decibel test. All plugs are out. Idle first.
I would have liked to got you guys better footage, uh, footage out on a highway, but it's July 3rd and the traffic's just ridiculous, so I'm just going to have to settle with doing it here in my driveway, but I hope it gives you some idea of the difference. Here's the drive-by test. All plugs are in. This is recorded with a Sony camcorder. Here's the drive-by test with the one-half inch plugs out. Here's a drive-by test with the one half inch and one inch plugs out. The one and one eighth plugs are in. Okay, this is the final drive-by test. All the plugs are out. Okay, normally I wouldn't say this because I believe that when you make something louder, it always makes it feel like it runs stronger, whether it does or not. But I gotta tell you, with all of them out, it just seems more responsive. Like if you notice there, when I hit second gear and then nailed it, it a couple of places it tried to spin that rear tire and it didn't do that before. So. I'm not saying it has more power, but to me it feels like it may have a little. I mean, how could it not with opening all those holes up when you consider how restrictive the original exhaust is? And no, I don't have any check engine lights or anything like that. Come on. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say for certain it is. It just seems like it, to me it is more responsive.
clipped to my visor or clipped to my helmet shield inside. Yeah. 